Over the past several videos, we learned the different query methods React Testing Library offers to find elements in the DOM. When we have multiple options to achieve the same result, it is quite natural to wonder when to pick one over the other. In this video, let me help you with that thought. React Testing Library has a pretty good section about this, so I am going to, for the most part, follow what is mentioned in the docs. The order of priority for using queries is largely based on the guiding principle that your test should resemble how users interact with your code as much as possible. The recommended order of priority is as follows. First, we have get by role. This can be used to query every element that is exposed in the accessibility tree. With the name option, you can filter the returned elements by their accessible name. Get by role should be your top preference for just about everything. Make sure to go through the list of elements and their roles to help you understand what role to use for a particular element. If for some reason, get by role does not help you, your next choice should be get by label text. This method is really good for form fields. When navigating through a website form, users find elements using label text. This method emulates that behavior, so it should be your top preference. If you still cannot find an element, your next choice is get by placeholder text. Keep in mind, a placeholder is not a substitute for a label. But if that is all you have, then go with get by placeholder text. Next, we have get by text. Outside of forms, text content is the main way users find elements. This method can be used to find non-interactive elements like divs, spans, and paragraphs. Next, we have get by display value. The current value of a form element can be useful when navigating a page with filled in values and get by display value is the query that can help you. Almost every test you write should make use of the above five query methods. If you're still having problems finding elements, it is worth taking a look at your component code. If you still can't make it work, you can rely on the next two query methods. You can use get by alt text if your element is one which supports alt text, such as image, area, input, or any custom element. You can use get by title to find elements using the title attribute. There is a caveat with using these two methods. The user experience of interacting with these attributes varies greatly across browsers and assistive technology. For example, the title attribute is not consistently read by screen readers and is not visible by default for sighted users. If none of these seven methods work, your last resort should be get by test ID. With get by test ID, the user cannot see or hear these. So this is only recommended for cases where you can't match by role or text or it doesn't make sense. For example, when the text is dynamic. This is the order of priority when using React testing library methods to find elements in the virtual DOM. Please make sure this is imprinted in your mind as it is really, really important. With that, we come to the end of the third section in the series, which is a smaller part of the wider React testing library concepts. In this section, we have learned what are RTL queries, why we need them, and had a look at eight different query methods. Get by role, get by label text, get by placeholder text, get by text, get by display value, get by alt text, get by title, and get by test ID. Finally, we learned about the order of priority of the various query methods. If all of this is clear, let's move on to the next section where we will learn even more about queries in React Testing Library. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel.
and I'll see you in the next one.